Hey everyone. I'm back with a blast from the past, Shazam from the original Injustice. Just recently got MK11, was playing Kotal Kahn and was really disappointed in what they did to him. He's not the same character, he's not that great, he's not that fun to play, he doesn't feel good. The same, that's the same way I felt about Cheetah. She wasn't Shazam. She was a Shazam analog. She had a standing command grab. She had a crouching command grab. She had the same character power that buffed her, her um, punches. Uh, but she could use it mid-screen, which is definitely something that they should have given to this guy. But they didn't. Um, so I just wanted to revisit like Shazam and why I loved him and why he's... My favorite fighting game character of all time. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. Uh, first, we're going to start with some of his strings, some of his useful strings. So 1-1-2, pretty good. It starts as it's an 8-frame eight, eight high um, that then hits mid-mid. Uh, is cancelable into Atlas Torpedo. It's also cancelable into Bolt of Zeus, as well as both of the advancing and eluding Mercury Storms. Um, so, like, this is fine. You could use it as a punish. Um, into Atlas Torpedo for some great Oki, for some corpse hopping, you know, damage, stuff like that. So, pretty good string. Um, you also had... So, let's go over his good strings. Or his good buttons. His down one. Good button. Combos into Atlas Torpedo. Great, like, six frame punish. So, you could do a lot of interesting shit with this. Uh, interesting. You could just, it was a really fast punish that led to some great Oki. 2-2, um, two, two, amazing string. Uh, it jailed, so if they were standing, you got a free command grab, unless they backdash. Um, once they got used to that, you would hit them with Atlas Torpedo, uh, which would catch backdashes. Also, if they were ducking, uh, this also beat ducks, because Atlas Torpedo is an overhead. Um, so 2-2. Two, two. Amazing string. I like did not use it enough. I can tell you that right now. I just I did not make it that a big part of my game. It was also one of his few advancing strings, um, which was cool. Um, forward two two. The reason I don't bring up forward two two three is because you can duck the last hit. A lot of characters hit boxes, even though it says it's a mid. You can duck it um, and not get hit, which is terrible. And then you're open up for tons of damage. Um, but forward two two is a standing reset. If you immediately go into Herculean Might. So if you do this, that is an inescapable reset. There is nothing you can do about it. And then you eat 40 damage. Um, so that's like a fifth. So especially if you hit a deep cross up, it's 12 damage. Uh, and then if you can land his bread and butter, which I might not be able to do anymore, um, that's that normally does 40. Let's actually let's see if I can hit it. That should be. 40 damage. So that's a 52 damage sequence. Uh, inescapable if you land that cross up. If you land the jump two. Awesome. Um, his other, st another string that was good was forward one two. Forward one two is really good. Um, it's plus three on block. The first hit is high, so it's duckable and punishable. Um, but the, the second hit is an overhead and it's plus three on block. So pretty decent. Also, it doesn't tick but it looks like it ticks, like it feels like it ticks. Um, and it's also, because it's plus three, if you immediately throw out a Herculean, uh, Herculean Might, um, it's coming out in eight frames. So unless they're just pushing buttons and they have a six frame or a seven frame button, you're beating them uh, and you're, you're catching them, which is super cool. It's also hit confirmable into Herculean Might as well. Uh, you can just hit it, wait for it to hit, and then do it. You have plenty of time to land that. So forward one two, really good string. Um, back two three, uh, super punishable on block. You would see me doing this all the time because I was YOLO and I really wanted to get into their faces. Um, this leads to a bunch of damage, which was great. Um, but again, very punishable on block. Uh, actually led to some really interesting stuff. So back two, really good move actually. Um, fast leads is cancelable. Uh, can be made safe using both of these, but it's not confirmable. Um, also crosses up in the corner, which is awesome. 
Um, let's see if I can. Let's see if I can do this appropriately. There you go. So it crosses up in the corner, uh, which was awesome. It also. Um, that's fine. Was a really tricky way in the final round, you know, when the, the opponent's on their second life bar, to get some really interesting unclashable damage. Uh, so if you timed it correctly, there you go. So that's 12%. Um, and you hit from the other side. So you basically cross them up. And if you remember um, the clash, you had to be like be hitting the whatever button it is, the meter burn and the forward button. Um, or the, and, and holding forward because you cross them up you would typically uh, mess up their clash and then you'd get 23% damage um, for free they couldn't they would have to hold that which was awesome that like that was really cool and I remember I can't remember who came up with that I want to say it was oh my gosh who was the really good Shazam player I'm not going to be able to remember his name but that is definitely not my tech. Um, I think the only tech that I had to my name was like, you could forward one, two, three um, on specific characters. I think I, I was only able to pull it off on the really baby body dudes, uh, like Lobo and, uh, oh, you could do it on Batman. Um, it's just, it's just hard. Um, yeah, it's tough. You have to be right in their faces. Yeah. Um, okay, so we have strings that are good. 1-1-2, one, one, forward 1-2, one, two, forward 2-2, two, 2-2. Two, two, two. Um, and back 2-3. Uh, those are the only strings that you will need as Shazam. The other strings, namely 1-2, one two back three and one two forward three tremendously bad moves tremendously bad the reason that these are bad and you can basically write these off is that one one two is cancelable at all points um one two is cancelable there but the last hit is not cancelable um it also sends the character fairly far away from shazam uh, it also does the same amount of damage. So 1-2 does 5%. That does 11%. These do, they, these eke out a tiny bit more damage. I think this one does a little more. No, so they do the same amount of damage. They're not cancelable. Um, and they don't, like, I think they're plus on block, but I, I believe so is 1-1-2. So why would you, like, I don't understand why these two are in the game. They serve no purpose. Uh, they they both also start as highs. So one, two, back and forward, three, ignore them. They're not useful moves. Um, okay, cool. So we've gone over some strings that are really important. Um, his down, the other stuff that is um, important is uh, down one, ticks. Um, down two, ticks. Uh, two, two, technically ticks. I, like. I don't, even, I, don't, I don't know if you'd call it a tick, but... Uh, and then... That looks like a tick. It's not, but it looks like it. Um, okay. So... The other thing... So, those are your... That's... He has some decent strings. Uh, he has two that are completely worthless. Um, and you need to know sort of how to use the other ones, because that is incredibly unsafe. Um, and there's only so much you can do to lead to meterless damage. Um, he has terrible meterless damage. Uh, that should be pretty obvious. Um, really what you're going to want to look for, uh, let's, let's go over his specials now. Um, so Atlas Torpedo, probably his best special move outside of his command grabs. This is, it goes like three quarters length of the screen, and it always puts you on hit the same distance away from your opponent. Um, so that's great. On Meter Burn, it does more damage, and it gives you incredible Oki opportunities. Allows you to Corpse Hop, uh, allows you to fake Corpse Hop and land in front. Um, you can also, if we set the opponent to 
yeah, auto block that we had it on there. It also crosses up with the correct timing. There you go. Um, so that was like really tricky because um, then you'd, you'd get them and you could do that again um, for more mix-ups. The problem was it cost a meter and it only did 16% damage. So you're looking at 32% for two meters, which is not great. Um, Bolt of Zeus was Shazam's projectile. It's friggin' horrible. It does 8% on hit. Um, it's a high. I guess the, the bolt is kind of long, so it's not like a Batarang, which is fairly small and you can jump over it easily. I guess maybe you could mess that up um, and land on top of it. Um, not good. It's not going to win you any, any projectile battles at all. Um, he also has the Meter Burn version, which is a decent move. It has incredibly long startup, so you're only doing it from hella far away. Um, otherwise, you're getting knocked out of it. But the bolt is longer, so I've actually had a ton of people land on top of it. It does a grip-up damage, does 15% damage, um, and it actually does a ton of chip. So, let's see. Um, it does almost 6% chip, and it's a mid. So, this is a, a pretty decent way, actually, to close out, like, last breath rounds. Um, you know, when they're hanging out on a pixel, if they didn't expect it. So, not a good move, but it has its place um, in Shazam's game. Uh, next come his command grabs. This was the bread and butter, and what made me fall in love with Shazam was Herculean Might. Uh, it's a command grab that, if the if you start here, you can grab them with the end of the match um, for 40 damage. Let's see if I can... Can't do it. Let's see if I can land his bread and butter. So this is his bread and butter. I'm a winner. I'm totally good at things. Um, 40 damage for one meter off of a command grab. Amazing. There were also, you know, like important things about this command grab, as I mentioned, is tickable. Whoop. So tickable there, uh, tickable off two two, down one, and down two. So that's awesome. Um, the other thing about this is that uh, it leads to unclashable damage and late game uh, second round that was really important you're doing over half or over a quarter life that is unbreakable um, unclashable so that's that was super cool I think he has the the most uh, I think Shazam has the strongest unclashable damage in the game uh, so if you know let's see how much this does. With his back three and forward three. So not bad, 35. Um, if you use his worthless character power, which we'll be going over. Not bad, 44% half life basically. Three meters, unclashable though. Which is super cool. Um, the reason that I love this move is... It was really fast, it had a ton of range, led to a ton of damage, and it was basically the thing that I wanted to do when I played this game. Like, th that felt so good to me. To sort of come out of a dash, come out of a teleport, and just immediately grab somebody, just, it was so satisfying. I, I've never played another character that was as satisfying as that. Like, it was great. Um, also, for two meters, you got uh, half. You got half life. So awesome. That's exactly like that's on par with most characters for two meters. Um, so again, it's also eleven frames, so it's really fast. Um, I believe you can also so I believe you can also extend the range by holding forward just a little bit longer, so you kind of take a half step. Um, so see how he kind of like we can walk just a little bit. Um, let's see if I can. So we can walk just a little bit. Um, so you can extend the range of it as well. Um, not super useful, but a little bit useful. Um, Achilles Clutch was the more powerful command grab. It actually did 14% damage compared to the 13 that Achille or, uh, Herculean Might does. Um, it is doesn't have the same amount of range, but again, that's not bad. It's like, what, a character and a half away? Uh, you can also do it 
again, you're ready to do it on their wake up if you end a combo in Achilles Clutch. This also leads to the most, your your highest damaging bread and butter for two meters. Let's see if I can actually do it. Uh, man, now I need to remember it. I think it's this. I think it, it's, it leads to 54%? Or 52? I promise I'll get it. Fifty-two percent. So, not bad at all. That's exactly what you want um, to punish somebody blocking. So, great moves, incredible moves. Literally, the moves that made me fall in love with this character. Um, his other two moves, you've probably seen me doing this: advancing and eluding Mercury Storm. Uh, they are completely invulnerable while you are sort of disappeared from the screen while your electricity. Um, really good for getting through. Um, easily uh like telegraph projectiles you could go through batarangs with this deathstroke was really hard to counter with this um but again really good like pretty decent recovery um but punishable is all heck if you're really obvious with it um this was also shazam's this is what made shazam such a nightmare to try to get oki on is he always had access to the, access to this wake up which meant that it was his invincible wake up, which meant he didn't need to worry about your jump ins. I mean, I still got hit by them. I guess I still got hit by your jump ins, but dude, you just teleport away. That like that was it. Any jump in that they did was suddenly like worthless. So really powerful part of his kit. Um, super. Nothing to write home about. I believe it does forty percent, thirty nine percent damage. Not that great. Um, should be. I don't think we talked about his back three uh terrible range like tremendously bad range especially when you start thinking about batman's like two character leap as well as uh superman's just like these massive jumps i think even wonder woman had a crazy um just like probably one of the worst back threes in the game um but a really serviceable forward three um he also had a neat trick that batman and superman had to throw off your wake-up timing if he did it correctly um you would score a hard knockdown, and you wouldn't put them quite so far away. So this is the normal distance. You cannot grab them. But if you delay the input for the second forward three just a little bit, boom, they get grabbed uh, for 40% damage, if you can land the combo. Um, so that was really cool. I love that that part of him. Um, what, what, what do we have to... Oh, we have to talk about his worthless... Oh, God, his worthless character power. Um, so, just like Cheetah, he powers up his fists, and all of his fist attacks do more damage. Um, in general, this is not good. It's just, like, not good. Um, it's... I think the recovery, it's, it's 43 frames of recovery, so after you do it, you can't really do anything. Like, this is the only safe time to use it is after like, you know, a, like maybe you've landed, you know, let's have him stand up because uh, that's easier. So that's like, you know, after you've like landed this, into this, into this, like this is the only time you can use it. Um, Cause it's the only time you'll be safe triggering it. I guess you could also use it when you're like far away, but then you need to spend part of the time that it's active trying to get in again. Um, so it's probably, like, it's almost always better to keep up your pressure than to trigger... What is this? I actually don't know what this is called. Character Solomon's Judgment. Cool name. Um, nothing to do with his wisdom, but... Um, yeah, and the fact that it only triggers on punch attacks, you're not using a ton of punch attacks um, in your combos. Um, uh, you know what? Let's Let's see. So we know that this does 40% normally. Okay, fine. That did a grip more damage. F you. Um, but you gotta still land it. Um, I think the only... And also you can't trigger it like Cheetah can uh, mid-screen. Uh, it's... I, I, man, there might be like super tight timing. But 
I don't think I could do it. Maybe, maybe down one. Could... I'm almost positive that this doesn't work. I'm sure a better player could get this. Wonder Chef. That was the really good Jazam player that I loved watching. Man, that feels like maybe if your timing is super tight, though. Um, you can get it in the corner. So, if you land something like this um, into down two, and it's that's not that hard. And you have great meterless damage. Um, so, cool. But, again, you are giving up pressure. You're giving up Oki. Um, you're giving up, you know, closing the distance for marginally increased damage that is circumstantial. If you can hit them, you'll get more damage. Um, cool. So, there is a lot to love about this character. Um, at least... Oh, and then his damage. Okay, so the other... Another cool thing is that if you have access to a background bounce... This player, or this character, a lot like Cheetah, um, he gets, like, some serious damage. Let's see if I can do my old bread and butter. Should be noted, I haven't played this in roughly, you know, five years or so. Um, 54 damage. 54% damage for 2 meters um, using a background bounce. So that's awesome. For 1 meter, let's see what you get. 44. So, and it's not hard. That combo is not difficult. Um, so that's awesome. Getting access to a background bounce is really important for Shazam. So I can't remember if you, I think it was always random stages. Um, but if there was a background bounce, the good Shazams made use of them because they opened up his damage like crazy. Um, they just made things like, you know, 1-1, one, one, like an 8-frame punish. Like, they made it worth it. Um, it, it. Okay, cool. So, like, that's it. That's, that's, let's... The things that I love, that, that's Shazam in a nutshell. He's all about moving around the screen uh, fairly quickly and getting in and landing his command grabs. Or getting in and, like, hitting a down, uh, like a down 1-2. And then corpse hopping and doing fun stuff. Um, yes, so that's the character in a nutshell. He wants to be zipping around the screen, um, avoiding your projectiles if he can, um, and command grabbing you. I love that. that that's amazing. Um, things that were not great, things that held him back, his walk speed. He has really bad walk speed. Um, not only that, if you want to walk forward, he doesn't re reach, like, max walk speed for, like, half a second or something. Not even half a second. Less than that. Like, a quarter of a second. So you'll notice, that, like, he kind of, there's a little stutter there, and then he begins walking full speed. Um, walking backwards, not great. Just, like, a really slow, pondering character. Um, a lot of his move, none of his moves are forward advancing, except for back 2-3. Um... This is 16 frames, so I guess it's kind of forward advancing. Um, but it's it takes a while to come out. So like this is like this is forward advancing, sure. But it's not great. It starts as a high. Oh, is that a mid? Okay, it's a mid. Um, but a lot of his moves lack range. One one, terrible range. One two, terrible range. Back, oh, you know what? We forgot back one two. Uh, back one two three. This move was good. Um, I think it was punishable on block. Oh, only by six frame down ones or bat Batman's stand one. Um, that move was good. Um, but again, no no range. Um, a move with range, kind of this move. Uh, you're not using that outside of combos though, because it's terrible. 2-2, forward advancing, but again, you can get blown up. If they're, if Batman's standing there, and he, he can just blow that up. Um, so yeah, not the greatest advancing moves. Very much like Cheetah. Um, I would say that 
Shazam probably with his back to me, probably has better advancing moves. Um, what else held him back? Um, he has essentially no meterless combo damage. The best you can do is, you know, 18%. Because everything he does, um, you need meter. Um, he also doesn't build meter. Like, he doesn't have a ton of special moves that he can spam. Um, you can do a lot of this to build special moves. Actually, I remember doing this being really cheesy. Um, but this is not quite the same as like filling the the map with projectiles, um, like Batman or Superman or Deathstroke or whatever. Um, things that were his wake up game really strong. You could also wake up with Herculean Might, which had invincibility, which was kind of cool and a little bit better uh, in some instances. Um, so again. Things that were not good. Walk speed, terrible. He also has two useless strings. So strings, not the best strings in the game. Not a lot of like overhead load. Not a lot of 50-50 built in. Um, he also doesn't have um, any damage that comes out of normal strings. Unless you spend meter. And even then, uh, it's not super great. Most of your damage is gated behind command grabs. He has a useless character power, um, and who's using your super? His super's fine. Um, he has things that are great about Shazam. He has an advancing command grab that is very fast and punishes a lot of stuff at 11, at 11 frames, at 11 frame startup. His, uh, he has pretty darn good conditioning if he can get in and land 2-2. Two, two. Then you're worried about is he going to command grab me? I'm going to duck. Am I ducking? I, like, does he know that? He's, you're getting hit by Atlas Torpedo and mixed up some more. Um, he has great damage when he lands a command grab. He has great damage uh, when he's able to use a background bounce. He doesn't have a lot of good punishes. His best punish is down one Atlas Torpedo. Uh, like, that's it. So, not the best. Um, anything over eight frames, or any yeah, anything over eight frames, uh, you can do like any of your standing one moves, but that doesn't lead to any damage, as we talked about. The best you can do is something like this. Uh, that takes two meters, and you'd get forty damage. So if you are, you know, you really want to punish an eight frame move, or you know, punish at eight frames. You can, but it's not good. Um, you're wasting a bunch of meter, I feel like, when you can probably do something better. Um, but what did I love about Shazam? I loved that Shazam, he had a lot of really cool tools, and he played the way I want to play fighting games, which is grab people. His grabs were so friggin' satisfying, man. And he did tons of damage with them, and they led to more damage because, you know, like, like, oh god, it was so much fun, like, ending combos. I think, like, by the end of the, the game, you know, I had initially been landing, um, or ending all of my combos in Herculean Might, which isn't great because it puts you further away. Um, but by the end of the game's lifespan, I was ending them in Achilles Clutch, which was much better for Oki and stuff like that. Um, I love this character. I think he is the best. I think that Cheetah is a pale, like a better, she's a better Shazam, but she misses out on what made Shazam fun for me, which was this, was Herculean Might. Like that is the thing. If, if if I could ask for anything, it would be that Cheetah had an advancing command grab as opposed to, you know, her little kick grab. But that's Shazam, in a nutshell. Great, really decent damage if you're landing command grabs. Really great mobility. Terrible walk speed, but great mobility to make up for it. Um, you, can't, you can't challenge his wake up because he can just get away. He has some interesting tricks in the corner with back two. Um, but he just, he just was not able to compete with characters who had better advancing strings, who had more mix-up potential, uh, and 50-50s. 
He had, you know, anyone that could win a projectile war, anyone that could um, capitalize with their character power uh, in ways that, you know, Shazam couldn't. But yeah, there you go. I love Shazam. I think he's the best character. He's the, my, the most fun character I have ever played uh, in a fighting game. He's amazing, and I wish that I got to play him in Injustice 2. I really hope that if, you know, there's an Injustice 3, they think about bringing him back. Uh, you know, he did just have a movie, which I loved. So yeah, like, I think they should do it. Anyway, uh, I hope you enjoyed- oh, you know what? Real quick before we end, uh, let's go over his aerial normals, which I totally forgot. Uh, they're pretty dang good. His jump one stays out forever, but has a wonky hitbox. It's like at the tip of the knee. Um, it's like shin, like middle of shin to knee. So if you're hitting with like his toes, you're probably not going to get anything. Um, but it stays, it's pretty active. It just has terrible range. Um, jump two is like gangbuster. It's like the best. It's his best jumping air, like attack. It hits super meaty. Um, and can result in tons of damage. You can also like do stuff like that. You can actually like use it fairly low to the ground and it pops the opponent up, which is great. Um, and jump three. Jump three is where the friggin' damage is at. This move is absurd in the amount of damage uh, it leads to. So that was almost 50% for one meter. Um, I believe that in the corner, whoop, in the corner, it could cross up. Yeah, in the corner, it can cross up, which is super cool. I, it's really hard. I think it can, let's see. I think it can cross up mid screen as well. But it's like really hard. And I don't think you get it off of any of his strings. Um, so that's really good, but it beats certain wake-ups clean. Like, like invincible wake-ups. So um, Black Adam's Lightning Cage, which he used all the time, that was beatable. This beat that. Um, there were a few others that you would just blow up with this move, which is incredible. Um, so that was awesome. Um, what else? I think there was some other stuff too, but dude, Shazam was the best. He was the best character. I loved him dearly. I wish he was an Injustice too, but he's not. Uh, and I hope you enjoyed this rundown. Like, I had tons of fun making it and revisiting Shazam and like playing him all over again. This guy was my jam back in the day. I loved him. Um, very good, like super fun character. Um, and yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoyed. Talk to y'all later.